Here I'll think about identification of the slope parameter in a simple linear structural model with a binary regressor. So imagine y here is somebody's commute time. So how long it takes them to get to work. And x is a dummy variable that's equal to 1 if people are carrying umbrellas outside and equal to 0 otherwise. So our structural model here is y equals beta naught, some intercept parameter, plus beta 1x plus u, where u is the structural error term. So here, because we've said this is a structural model, these betas have some causal meaning uh, by the way we've defined it. So beta 1 in particular is a causal effect of x on y. Now, thinking about reality, does carrying umbrellas directly cause commute times to be longer? No, it does not. If you were driving to work and uh, the weather did not change, but suddenly people opened umbrellas for some reason, uh, it wouldn't suddenly make you slow down. So in this example, we know just thinking about reality, beta 1 is going to be equal to 0. That'll help us uh, think about what will go wrong here. Uh, umbrellas are related to rain, and rain does actually affect commute times. So remembering that u, the structural error term, contains all of the other things that affect commute time besides umbrella carrying, rain would be part of our u variable, or in particular the effect of rain on commute time. So if it's raining, u will be a larger positive number, which will mean that we'll have a larger positive, a higher commute time, a longer commute time. Uh, if it's not raining, then u will tend to be lower than that. u also contains lots of other things, like traffic that's unrelated to rain, holidays, um, you know, whether your car gets a flat tire, uh, anything else that can affect commute time. Uh, but the important part is that rain is part of that. So what we need in order to have identification here is we need x to be exogenous, meaning unrelated to u. But the problem here in this example is that x is endogenous, meaning it is related to u. Um, and in different settings, there's different uh, mathematical ways of defining related and unrelated. Um, but in this particular setting, we can think about how does the mean of u when people are carrying umbrellas compare to the mean of u when people are not carrying umbrellas. Now, we said earlier, when people are carrying umbrellas, it's probably because it's raining, and rain is part of our structural error term u. So in other words, u will be some larger positive number uh, when x is equal to 1. So this will be some higher number, even on average, whereas if x is 0, people are not carrying umbrellas, uh, that suggests it's not raining. 
in which case it's possible that sometimes there's still a lot of traffic for other reasons, but if we think about on average, because this is looking at the conditional mean of u, on average u will tend to be lower when people are not carrying umbrellas um, because of the, the lack of rain. So if we have a higher number minus a lower number, we'll get something that is positive. So this violates the identifying assumption that we needed that would say these two things are equal to each other. Um, so in this particular case, this is the sense in which u and x are related. If we know the value of x, that tells us something about the mean of u either being higher or lower. So that uh, relationship between u and x here means x is endogenous, and if we were to just regress y on x uh, or look at the conditional mean difference, uh, we could not interpret that with any causal meaning. It would still be a valid descriptive statistic, uh, and the conditional means could still be used for prediction, but we couldn't interpret the uh, slope of the CMF as anything causal.